In the first season of Pro League, there was not a single Brazilian player that competed, because the competitive Rainbow Six Siege scene at the time had just started, and there was only North American and European qualifiers, meaning only teams from those regions could qualify for the finals, and this would be the case for the rest of Year 1 Pro League. But fast forward to 2024, Brazil is the most dominant region, with the most recent Six Invitational having over a quarter of its player base hailing from Brazil. In this video, I'll be going over the timeline of Brazil taking over competitive Rainbow Six Siege, and along the way giving you the reasons as to why I think Brazil took over. Starting with the first S tier tournament that would feature Brazilian teams was the first Six Invitational in 2017. The 2017 Six Invitational would feature a Latin American qualifier, meaning Brazilian teams could qualify to one of the biggest tournaments of the entire year. The Brazilian team that would qualify was Santos Dexterity. They would place a respectable third place, but as we know, this was only the start to Brazil's dominance. Following this tournament, Pro League Season 1 of year two would feature a Latin American qualifier as well. Two Brazilian teams would qualify for this tournament, Black Dragon Esports and V3 Masters. Both teams would do very well with V3 Masters placing third and Black Dragon Esports placing second. This would show everyone around the world that Brazilian teams were some of the best teams in the world. And with competitive gaming being so big in Brazil, when Brazilian gamers seen you could qualify for a really big tournament on R6, more Brazilian players would start to play. And the ones that were already playing would strive to become the best they possibly possibly could be in hopes of becoming a professional player someday. This was the start of R6 becoming really big in Brazil, and through the rest of 2017, Brazilian teams would continue to place well, but not winning an S tier tournament. And in these early years of competitive Rainbow Six Siege, Brazil was seen as good, but not dominant, with Europe taking that crown most of the time. But now moving into the next year, 2018 would see a change in competitive Rainbow Six Siege. Every S tier tournament up until this point was mainly American and European players, but starting with the first S tier tournament of 2018, the Six Invitational, 25% of the players were Brazilian. This was most likely due to the rise of R6 in Brazil, which I talked about earlier, and from 2018 to 2024, Brazil will be the dominant country in terms of participating players in almost every tournament. But 2018 was much of the same of the previous years. Through the four S tier tournaments of 2018, Brazil would consistently be on the podium, but could never crack the first place finish. Okay, as I was editing this, I did realize that a Brazilian team did win an S tier tournament in 2018. In Season 7 of Pro League, Team Liquid did take first place, which was Brazil's first S tier win, but the other Brazilian team that was also in that tournament did take pretty much last place, so it's not like Brazil dominated that tournament in any way, but they did end up taking the first place finish. One thing I'll note about this year is the Brazilian FaZe Clan team. By 2018, FaZe Clan as an esport was obviously really big, and when FaZe Clan entered the R6 scene, they chose to create a team of all Brazilian players, which shined more of a light on to Brazil in the R6 scene because of how big FaZe Clan was in the United States. The next year, 2019, was the start of the R6 Brazilian Revolution. The main reason for this was the arrival of some of today's biggest stars, including Pino, Paula, Herds, and Alamo, just to name a few. And in the early days of 2019, Professional Siege was basically just default takes where almost every round would end up the same. But around this time, a lot of Brazilian teams started to create new ways of playing Siege. The first new way of playing being an aggressive adaptive playstyle. And to go more in depth, the round would play out normally just trying to win gunfights, and if they noticed the push wasn't exactly working, they would switch it up mid-round and use their aggression to win the round. The teams that used this the most were MIBR, Los, formerly Team 1, and NIP. With this playstyle on the rise, another far different playstyle would also be seen. This playstyle was more of a defensive and angle holding style of play. You would hold angles and wait for your opponents to make mistakes and then capitalize on their mistakes. The style of play was mainly used by Team Liquid, FaZe, Furia, and some more. With this new style of play, Brazil would still not see a first place finish in an S tier tournament. And now after four years of competitive Rainbow Six Siege, many seen Brazil as the weakest region right alongside Asia. But moving into 2020, Brazilian Rainbow Six Siege would see a change. With a lot of teams getting better at the new play styles going into the 2026 Invitational, Brazilian fans were hopeful. While Brazil didn't do so well in the 2020 Invitational other than Ninjas in Pajamas coming in second, but still no S tier win for Brazil. But with the pandemic canceling a lot of the tournaments, including the finals of Pro League, teams had more time to improve and focus on strategies. Throughout this time, there was no international tournaments, meaning every region
region was improving only based off of the other teams in the regions. The region that took advantage of this the most was Brazil, and moving into the first international tournament since the pandemic, the 6th Invitational 2021, nobody knew it yet but Brazil would shine. The top 3 spots of the 2021 6th Invitational would all be taken up by Brazilian teams. And in this tournament, the playoffs MVP and the finals MVP were both Brazilian players. And moving into the upcoming 2021 Mexico Major, many esports fans were curious to see if Brazil would win another major tournament. Well, lucky for Brazilian fans, the 2021 Mexico Major would be won by Team 1 Esports, a fully Brazilian team. With Paula having the most MVPs and Levy winning the tournament MVP, the next S tier tournament coming up was the 2021 Sweden Major. This tournament once again would be won by Brazil. Brazilian team. NIP came in second, Psycho and Cyber, two Brazilian players would tie for the most MVPs, but Cyber would win the tournament MVP. And this tournament would end 2021 off on a good note for Brazil, with only Brazilian teams winning an S tier tournament in that year. And in 2021, Brazil went from being seen as the weakest region alongside Asia to being seen as right up there with Europe and NA. But this would not continue into 2022 because no Brazilian team would win an S tier tournament in 2021. Brazil as a region was definitely not bad in 2022, it just seemed like the earlier years where Brazilian teams would always finish on the podium but could never win. But in the final two tournaments of the year, Brazilian teams would be the runner-ups. So some improvements from a few teams and Brazil would be right on top once again. But the first major tournament of 2023 started off very similar to the previous years with G2, a North American team taking first place and Brazil's W7M coming in second. But the similarities wouldn't last as long as in the second S tier tournament of 2023, W7M would redeem themselves and take home first place. This was the first S tier tournament win for a Brazilian team in over a year, and this was the start of the W7M dynasty. The next S tier tournament, Gamers 8 2023, would see no Brazilian team on the podium finish for the first time in over a year. But in the tournament right after, Brazil would dominate with the top three teams all being Brazilian. And that leads us to the most recent tournament as of today, the 2023. 24 6 Invitational. This tournament didn't start out so hot for Brazil as no Brazilian team would win their group stage. But in the playoffs, the two teams who made it to the finals were W7M and FaZe Clan, two fully Brazilian teams, meaning no matter what, Brazil was taking home another Invitational trophy. W7M would go on to win this tournament with one of the closest final series ever, taking home the third S tier tournament win in under a year. And that takes us all the way to the present, where Brazil is seen by many as the top region for competitive Rainbow Six Siege on the back of many great players and teams. And that's my best attempt at giving a timeline of the rise of Brazil in competitive Rainbow Six Siege. And if I had to summarize why I think Brazil is so dominant in the Rainbow Six Siege esports scene, I would first start from the competitive gaming history of Brazil. With their dominance over other games such as CSGO, you'll quickly realize Brazil is one of the best countries in the world at competitive gaming. So it's no surprise there are so many players at the highest level of Siege. And in terms of just Siege itself, the revolutionary playstyles that came from Brazil and some of the best players in the game coming from Brazil they were able to capitalize off of this new wave. As well as many teams realizing Brazilian players were willing to put in the work to become the best, and with that Brazilian teams would become extremely valuable. 